Hello everyone, we are still playing uh, Creeks for this Halloween. Oh, uh, yeah, this one has me... <laughs> well, I don't know if I should if I should say stumped, but... Um, it is a challenge. See, what you need to do is get both of the Kotango guys up there. Spaced uh, with two grids between them so that they can uh, step on the uh, pressure plates in a way that allows you to jump across the uh, gap in the middle. It's um, slightly more complicated than it looks, but uh, one thing at a time. Oh, and uh, say hello to my dishwasher. Maybe I'll just uh, uh, yeah, figure something out. <laughs> uh, excuse me for a minute. Uh, there we go. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, this one.
So yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what to do about all this. <laughs> uh, power of post commentary. Well, does not necessarily mean that I can also just. Uh, edit out things for just no reason in general okay so now to get the guy on the bottom up there I mean we could go back to the lower floor and just um Uh, okay, no, I guess <laughs> this was actually smarter. Never mind me. I'm just, um, I'm just some silly let's player. Yeah, he's on the elevator now. Come on, bring him up. Yeah, might as well put some space between us. appear to be thinking uh, very much. Now, where this is going to get a little bit complicated is um, uh, we also need to be on the left side of these guys. Thing to work properly. So where they are standing right now is where they need to be standing when we make the first jump to the leftmost plate or the first of three. And once we have those up like that, it's simple as pie. Easy as pie. I whatever it is you do with a pie. Look, don't ask me, I don't eat a lot of pies since I have so many stupid intolerances. Uh, food intolerances. But I kind of should clarify <laughs> that, at least. Okay, well, since we have them together like that, it will be moderately easy to put them in a position where we can um, get only get to the left side of them. That's what I do there, yes. Now to get them properly spaced. Okay, well, maybe uh, this is not so obviously a Halloween thing. But I kid you not, this is... Ooh. Oh, sorry. I have, I've had a day at, uh, <laughs> at work today. Um, for me, it's sort of a nightmare situation to just not be able to progress with something. I'm just bashing my head against something and uh, I just can't make sense of it. I had a lot of game of rage about that when I was like young and stuff. Oh, hello, I think I got it now. Uh, no. I ain't got it. Well, back to the drawing board. Tried the ducktails on the Sega Mega Drive, and uh, as far as I understand, that is supposed to be 
may be the best version, unless the Super Nintendo version we've seen is better. Well. Yeah, this is also not a good. Um, yeah. Uh, I just could not get past a few points with that game, and I just couldn't figure it out, and I just got very angry with the game. Hey, come on, it was the mid 90s, and I wasn't very mature <laughs> in the 90s. Okay, come on, two slots to the left should do it, and then we hit the lights again. No, no, you went too far. My guy, Jesus. Right. I mean, you didn't have to, but it's probably wise. Now, take a step or two. Yeah? Yes. That should be it. Come on, me jump across. God damn it. No, 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 no. Cool, but no. I'm sure it was very fun. I must have figured it out this time. Eh, I mean, that works. Ish. Back, lights on. <laughs> well, I guess that kind of works. Oh, me, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, look, I promise I will get past the stage. This is what scene uh, 34, I think, and I've reached scene 41, and we can make progress past that one. Ah, well, anyway, this is the solution. I only spent a good um, 30 and a half minutes getting here. Oh, hey, where's that book? Oh, bother. Well, I might as well go down the elevator and try to find it. Recovery operation, you know? So we need the uh, coat hanger guy to stand on the pressure plate, I think. Uh, well, eventually, I can stand on the pressure plate, but we need uh, the player character to stand on the bookshelf at the time. And then we also need the globe jellyfish thing. To go over on the pressure plate 
on the middle right level. I don't think I struggle quite as much with this stage. But I do struggle a little bit. I mean, I could have used a walkthrough, I guess. Um, but I'm not, so. Yeah. Okay, if we go over on the left, we can push that out into the shade and. Back away a little bit. That's exactly what I would do. And um, here's the fun fact. I hadn't realized it at this point, I think. I will eventually do. That the jellyfish will deviate. That is, um, it is scared of the coat hanger guy. So if we get him to stand on the shelf, or we erase it, the jellyfish will fly up to the uh, shelf with the uh, oyster on it and then go over to the uh, uh, level above the pressure plate that it needs to stand on and uh, that's where we want to get it so that's how you well do that thing um, so now to get the container guy onto the shelf and Keep him there. Yeah, lighting. That switch without getting eaten by the jellyfish is um, going to be um, interesting. Let's try this again. Please, like, don't. <laughs> don't F this up again. Oh, hey. I sized this. Don't leave me, please. Get the lit. Okay, so now to get over on the other side of Mr. Kotanga guy. Mm, yeah, oh. No. Well, that was remarkably stupid, wasn't it? And that's me saying it. Well, at least the puzzle uh, returns to the uh, completed state. So that's fine. Ah. 
Uh, one more step, maybe. Oh, or we could go over on the left side of him and push him, or do that. That works too. Now go. DTFO. Please. Whatever. As long as we get past this stage, I'm fine. Ooh, that's nasty. You think that's gonna work, though? a slightly antagonistic re relationship between those. Between those two. And uh, rip bear trap. Okay. There's like better balls and things. I like eating too. And with that said, let's continue with the game. to navigate the uh, lights um, if you stand in the light the uh, dog will well turn into a chest of drawers I think you'll see this many times yeah like so and you don't want that you want the dog to reach the guy at the end This is the one I struggle a lot with. This is probably the uh, second to last screen. Oh, okay. Well, ah, yeah, this is the last screen. So far, so good. 
Um. Never mind. The same kind of dog we've been meeting up in the um, I mean, in a normal game, right? Oh well, I think I'll call an episode here. See you in the next one. We have more to discover.